Oddman here and welcome to the workshop. Now in this episode we're going to be looking at how to clean louver windows part one. Part one is without a squidgy. Let's get into it. All right folks so the first thing you want to do is grab an empty spray bottle, mark it up with the words ISO, then <laughs> grab your bottle of isopropanol now, this way of buying it in small bottles is the expensive way of doing it. Much better off buying it in bulk in larger containers. I just haven't got around to it yet. Okay, so what we want to do is mix 20% isopropanol to 80% pure water. What I'll do now is fill the rest of that one with pure water. Okay, now I'll grab a clean microfiber and a clean scrim. So these are the set of louvers we're going to do today. It's a little hard to see the dirt that's on them, but as I turn it, you'll be able to see how dirty they actually are. Now with the squidgy method, you would generally wet it up, squidgy across, and what happens most times than not is you get a run of water along here that you have to clean up and runs of water on both edges of the glass, which you then have to clean up again. Also, um, this can be tedious and it can leave smear marks. All we're gonna be using in this case is some ISO mixture, microfiber cloth, and a scrim. Now there's a little bit of a technique, a little bit of a system to this. What I generally do, spray the tops, then spray the bottom, and then wipe. Once I've wiped, I put the uh, microfiber cloth on the next shelf down, and then once I've polished, I'll put the polished cloth on the second shelf down, the one under it. I'll show you why. Now first of all, if these are really, really bad, really, really caked in dirt, you can get a dirty uh, microfiber and give them a clean up first. Uh, that will just keep this clean one a bit cleaner, a bit longer. All right, so here we go. We start with the ISO spray. I generally do three sprays on top and one or two underneath. That gets a, that gets a good scrub with the clean microfiber and then same underneath. Now, this microfiber goes on the second shelf. Your scrim, you now use the scrim to polish it off. And you'll be amazed that when you watch this polish, how sparkly and clean they actually come up. Now, once I've finished polishing, the polishing cloth then goes on the second one down. Now you grab this one, you know exactly which is the next one to clean. One, two, three. So we'll leave that there. Now, that gets a clean up. Next one down, gets a good clean up. With your microfiber. That goes on the second shelf down. You now grab this one, the scrim, and give it a polish. Underneath. The scrim now goes on the next one down. Now let's have a look at them. All right, there you go. They are shining brightly. This isopropanol um, and pure water mixture is a, gives a fantastic finish. Because of the isopropanol, you're probably wondering, why put isopropanol in the mix? It's because it dries the water out super, super quick. So when you're polishing off, it literally dries as you polish. It doesn't leave any water leaving around the edges, doesn't leave any water on the um, edges here, and it doesn't get your scrim super, super wet. Keeps it nice and, nice and dry. So that's done, that's done. This one's next, and then this one is last. Now, I didn't come up with this idea and this technique. This was shared with me by a couple of mates, Hardy and Pete. Um, they showed me this little trick here. Now, I think it's a fantastic trick. Give it a go yourself, and um, I think you will discover that those aren't that hard to do. Now, how to clean louvers part two coming up. There you go, folks. I hope that was helpful. Now, keep an eye out for part two in how to clean lever windows. In part two, there will be no squidgy, no rags, and no isopropanol. This is Modman, give that a go. All right.